My life is art. I was surrounded by art since my early, early years. My father was an artist and an art critic. And I was surrounded by art on the lies, cultural politics, and the avant-garde the whole time. I had also a very special education because my teacher used a lot of improvisation. She pushed me towards creation, radical inventions. When I was 19 years old, I did my first work, M3x2, a video programming by computer. I love mathematics, so it was inside my mind how to program a computer to give the instructions to the TV director, cameraman, and dancers. And together, they made the video. I was aware that this technological revolution was big and would change the way people think life. I also proposed a new body language. It was a geometric movement, very cut and sharp. It was a preview of what would come later, like break dancing or street dancing. Nowadays, we move like clearly, like robots. More than mechanical movement, we do very direct movement, very quick, because most of people live in small spaces, tight, always in a hurry, and they try to fit their movement in the frame of the video. So we have a rectangle inside our mind the whole day. I made the odd computer dance, and in 76 I finished this phase. Then I decided to go further in the dance career. I went to New York, where I had the opportunity to study and work with Moscani. It was a dream. It was marvelous. And I had the opportunity to really experience my full body expression. When I came back to Brazil, I began to do video dances. Each video dance had a different proposal in the relation between man and camera and also between the body movement and reality. For example, I attached a camera to my arm and I recorded very slow movements of my skin. It's difficult to recognize which part of the body is moving and the result is a very interesting geometry, an organic geometry. I did three of those words, flash one, two and three. And flash two, I think, is my self-portrait. Well, it shows the way I move and the way I think. I am a kind of quick person. Uh, with a little patience. Well, I'm trying to be patient, but, uh, you know, I'm full of energy. In the 80s, I also began to do a work of movement notation. I invited the computer scientist Newton Wolf, that was a student at that time, and we worked together till now. Actually, we got married, and we are still together, Working. We are researching a way of right movement, the same way you can write a word, a text, or a music. The difference is that the, our movement is very complex, much more than a word dictionary. We move all the parts together at the same time and in time. This is complex. I have to thank my first teacher and also my grandmother. The name of the notation Newton and I give is Nota Anna. That's my grandmother's name, Anna. She encouraged me a lot when I was a kid because I had a lot of energy and she pushed me towards to become a solo researcher that I am too now in Brazil. Here we have a lot of limitations as a woman, as a Latin American, and other problems. 
But this man, she gave him self-confidence to fight. So, North Anna is a tribute to her. Going on in this research, I decided to materialize the results of the motion capture and the North Anna processing. What came out were sculptures. The sculptures I really a new visual result because they are planted with the organic geometry of the body. We can make straight lines with our body, we can make circles, we can make 3D, but a straight line, it is almost straight. The circle is imperfect. So we have a geometry that's the body geometry. It's organic geometry. That's how we communicate to each other, using the space with our body. The first sculpture we did was in 2015, and we keep doing it till now because people love to move in front of the motion capture structure and they create wonderful movements. And those movements can be transformed in sculptures. I decided also to do a drawing in the paper with my body. It's a work completely without technology, just body and color. If I use, for example, a brush, it's just an extension of my fingers' movement. This is a kind of body art, specific because it's a research of the formal possibilities of our body language. And what come out are sophisticated paintings. This remembers me one phrase of the old Greek that says, dancing is strong and bare. Body expression as art through different media and materials. That's what I'm doing and that's what I think I'll do the rest of my life. Thank you.